out and take your seat. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. Please sit, 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 sit. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Simeon. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us came with questions? Or how many of us are planning? <laughs> I'm planning to have questions when people start. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, it's, it's a great day to be alive and to do the will of the Lord. So I'll, I'll call on our guys shortly. Um, do I have Bible? Who was with my Bible? Praise God. Okay. Just bring it there. My small peer was in my Bible. Praise God. I know it's you I did. Praise God. My of us still carry paper Bible. You know, it's when somebody starts succeeding in an area, they used to challenge others. <laughs> How many of you have paper Bible? How many of you are with your paper Bible that you have? Raise it up. Raise it. No, leave it off. For those of us, the few of us that are making it. Say, I have a Bible. The Holy Bible. It is the word of God. I love it. So stop talking. I know it is. Raise it and say, I have a Bible. For those of us in that category, let's proudly stand. Let the rest sit down. Stand up. Are you ashamed of the word of God? Say, I have a Bible. My friend, will you keep quiet? The word of God. Oh, yeah, sit down, sit down. No. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. So I just. Praise God. Praise Simeon now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I saw a video recently. Paul started asking questions. I saw a video recently. And the person actually challenged me because sometimes. Um, we wonder if the things written in scripture are for people like us. So go to Romans chapter 4. From verse 16 for context. Therefore the promise comes by faith so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring. Not to those who are of the Lord, but also to those who have the faith of Abraham. He is a father of us all, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, the God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed, and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Even in faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old and Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver true. <laughs> he did not waver true unbelief. I stumbled on a TikTok video and it really touched me. The lady laughed. I said, Abraham did not waver through unbelief. Abraham. When a wife gave her a housemaid, he did not say no, he collects. He won't pick him. He did not waver. Because we need to read the word of God. That's what she was challenging to say. She said, because sometimes when we read Bible characters, eh, 
we read them in, in a very utopian sense. We read them like they're not real people. Because what God accounted to him was his holding on in spite of even his own mistake. So, you read my child wondering anytime you are struggling with doubts, then you will come to a service like I will read Romans chapter 4 verse 20. He did not stagger at the promise. Uncle stagger born again. I don't know what your staggering has produced in your life. Because what the devil does is to put an image of your failure before you. So that you can miss the image of your success in God. But what God chose to write about Abraham is that he did not stagger. Because the man ended up in faith. It's just like when Jesus told them, this sickness is not unto death. His disciples did not understand the meaning of that statement. Jesus did not say Lazarus could not die. Go and read English. Unto means it won't end in death. So in case he dies, Sha, when the story is finished, you'll be alive. So the guy died. Jesus said, no, uh, master has missed it for once. This is our master. He has, this time, ah, no, he has missed it. There's, he has missed something. We knew it. My sister, I know it. I've been following this guy. I knew that one day, somehow, Sha, in prophecy, no go enter. He caused fig tree. He needed 24 hours. Maybe in the night, some people went and killed the tree. Maybe not today. They don't catch up. He said, this sickness is not today. He said, we, where he confused them finally, he said, let's go and wake our friend is sleeping. They conferred among themselves. He said, like no. <laughs> so look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God did not record your staggering because he's recording your faith. Are you understanding? So he said, he staggered not at the promise. How do I know he's recording your faith? Why are you seated here today? Why do you have faith enough to be in the fellowship of the brethren? <laughs> do you understand you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I know they have removed first subsidy. I know <laughs> many things are happening in the world. I know sometimes you even wonder like, do I have faith? He staggered not at the promise. He staggered not at the promise. Why? He will go back to the promise. As hard as you are to believe, I believe. As tough as you look like, I believe. He staggered not at the promise. Am I saying the Bible lied? No. It is that the word of God and God chose not to regard the process. Said, you know what? Did this guy end up in me? Did he somehow find his way standing and say, yes, I still believe? Now, why do I know that? If Abraham did not believe after Ishmael, he would have never had Isaac. So, yes, Ishmael happened. But he knew enough and trusted enough not to stop at Ishmael. So I don't know what Ishmael you came in with or what Ishmael exists in your life. Satan's aim is not to just, it's not minor discouragement. It's ultimate cessation of the journey. That's the aim. So he throws pockets of things around. Somebody needs to hold on to the word. Somebody needs to continue to stand strong. That's why I say we should strengthen the feeble knees. God does not strike feeble knees down. He strengthens them. He recognizes that they are feeble. He says strength. He's quite a different kind of God to the gods of this world. That's why he's the most beautiful among thousands. And 10,000. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Praise God. 